Praise the Lord, praise a living Jesus. We bless our air from the hedging pass in this holy platform. Thank you, Lord, for whom you have made us in Christ Jesus. We appreciate you and we thank you especially for entrusting your word in our cares and confirming them with signs and wonders. We are so grateful, Father. We bless your name in Jesus' name and amen. And amen. Our Bible test for today is taken from the book of John chapter 2. John chapter 2 from verse 2 and 3. John chapter 2 verse 2 and 3. And both Jesus was called and his disciple to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. May the Lord bring his stance performance into his word to give strength to give healing encouragement comfort hope and salvation to all our heirs in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen our word of faith on this week edition of faith clinic is entitled opportunities opportunities father we bless your name amen Opportunities and privileges are given to each and every one of us. All in one way or the other in life. Either to prosper, either to escape, either to be ill. In diverse ways, we are all given privileges and opportunity. In fact, every breaking of a new day, it's a precious opportunity given by Jehovah. I am so confident of the Lord to tell you that opportunities, privileges, and way out are around you, right where you are. I trust the Lord for that. Oh, why then are we lacking behind? Why then are we struggling? Thank you, Father, for making this holy platform another pool of best to heal us. It is just in ability to recognize opportunity and to exploit them. And this vital two things. We must do with opportunities in order to profit us. We must recognize it. We must exploit it. Exploit it and utilize it. Recognition, my dear viewers, has to do with our sight, both physical and inner or spiritual eye. Because what you see, the tell me what you see is, if you can't see it, you can't have it. You must first see it. You must first recognize it before you can utilize it. A Bible test for today. John chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. He told us that when their wine finished, they recognized the presence of the true vine. They recognize the presence of the true vine and they escape shame. Not just only supplied wine, it brought a new wine into their gathering. I pray for someone today, you begin to enter into your season of revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. You will from henceforth recognize opportunity wherever you go in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not pass you by. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, and amen, and amen. We look at the book of John, chapter 4, verse 10. John, chapter 4, verse 10. Jesus said to the woman, If you know the gift of God. If you know the gift of God. Because Jesus presented himself as a beggar to the woman. She presented himself 
as someone in need to the woman. Beloved, my dear viewers, opportunity are not often look beautiful the way you want to see it. Believe it, great opportunity often comes in form of request to give. Do you know that? The best time in life to befriend a king is when he is not king. But can you recognize him then? David recognized Goliath as an opportunity. Opportunity to, be, to live a tax-free life that I can live in this land without paying taxes. He see Goliath as an opportunity to become the in-law of the king. Opportunity. A lawyer will see cases, court cases as an opportunity for him to come up higher. A doctor will see patient, sickness, pandemic as an opportunity to exhibit his or her wisdom. My dear viewers and beloved in Christ, great opportunities are treasures and they are often hidden. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 3 talks about treasure in hidden places, Jehovah said. I stand to pray for you. Jehovah will open your eye to see hidden treasure around you. Opportunity and privileges in the mighty name of Jesus. You must live to recognize opportunity. You must live and acquire the ability that wherever you are, to recognize them. It is vital. You will not miss any opportunity again in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your word. And the second thing we need to do concerning opportunity is to exploit them. To utilize it. You use it. Sorry to use the word. You use it like mad. You make full use of it. You grab it as if you will never see another one. You exploit opportunity. Like the robber, convicted on the right hand side of our Lord Jesus Christ at crucifixion, he recognized opportunity and he exploited it. He was saved. Dear viewers, do not underestimate nor commonize opportunity as it is common to all men. What can this do, they say? What can this do? They say just five loaves and two fishes. Matthew chapter 14, 16 to 20. Matthew chapter 14, 16 to 20. But when he got to the hand of the right person, he fed 5,000 people without counting women and children. Beloved, I stand to pray for you. You utilize every little opportunity you have in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Anytime you see people in need, real need, utilize it as an opportunity to save for evil time. Opportunity for you to save for yourself for the evil day to come ahead. Everything in the house of God is an opportunity. Embrace it. Do it with all your might, with all your heart. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10, he said. Do it diligently. Opportunity. Dear viewers, beloved in Christ, I'm so confident in the Lord. You are surrounded with opportunity. But can you recognize it? Do you know that the time to give also is a great weapon to put an end to lack of all kind? And you are lacking, and you are lacking. And God made an avenue like the widow. Opportunity, great one. They are treasure, they were hidden. They come in form of a request. Jesus Christ asked the woman, Give me water. Elijah asked the woman, Give me the make me the meal first. 
dear viewers, it is the art or hand of giving that results to the art and hand of getting. Thank you, Father, for your word. My dear viewers, I'm a brother of Christ. It gladdened my heart at this time to announce to you the greatest opportunity you have now to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and work out your salvation with fear and tremble. Not just to be in church, but you have to be in Christ. You need to grab this opportunity today not just to grow in church, but to grow in Christ Jesus. Beloved, you need to utilize it to grow in Christ. Listen to this. I'm telling you the truth in Christ. It is not a threat. Hell is real. And it has only one entrance. Which is the way in without no exit door. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hebrew 9 27. Beloved, I want to encourage you, my dear viewers, precious opportunities before you at this time. You won't say you didn't hear it. Please kindly exploit and utilize this precious time to genuinely give your life to Jesus or to rededicate your life and amend your way. Life without Christ is full of crisis. You have a lot, a lot, and abundant to gain when mutual knowledge exists between you my Lord Jesus Christ. Much your knowledge. He knows you and you know him. You won't miss opportunity in the name of so Even the one you have, you will exploit it. You will use it. Make full use of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, look at the book of Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. Thank you, Father. Luke chapter 9. Quickly look at Luke chapter 9 from verse 57 to 62. He recorded three privileged people. They met Jesus Christ. But ignorantly did not exploit the opportunity to their greatness. Till today, nobody know their name. They faded away. Compared to Peter, he met Christ, he followed. But for these three ones, they miss out. They miss it out. They put, they put something first before the kingdom business. They miss it. Because of family ties, they miss it. Because of the player, activity, feast, they miss it. Precious opportunity to their greatness. Till today, nobody knows their name. But we are still hearing Peter this and Peter that. My dear viewers, use this opportunity to be great on this head and to be great in the life to come with eternal life. Not a threat. Hell is real. You must not be there in the name of Jesus. No one knows which comes first. Either you meet him in death or he come to take you up in rapture. But when he shall come, will he find you faithful in the little he has committed into your hand? Today is a precious opportunity to amend your way. You can enjoy this head and in the world to come but it is only in Christ Jesus. Why not seize this opportunity, precious opportunity, to surrender all to Jesus? In a very short word confession, to talk to me, Lord Jesus, I heard about you today and I confess you as the only begotten Son of God. Come and be my Lord and my personal Savior. 
For in faith I confess in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen and amen. Congratulations. The Lord be with you. He will strengthen you. He will open your heart to see opportunities in the mighty name of Jesus. He will lead you aright and you will not walk astray in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name and amen and amen. For your testimony, prayer requests, and counseling, you can see our contact on the screen. Do not hesitate. Join us next week Thursday by His grace for another edition of Free Clinic. Till then, stay connected and shine in the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Shalom.